Well, we can't seem to escape some of this yellow tree pollen, a lot of it, but it, is it worse than normal? Yeah, CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing breaks down the numbers. We've had warmer than average spring days the past few days, and if you got outside, it didn't take long for you and everything else to be absolutely covered in pollen. But if you thought everything looked a little more yellow, you weren't wrong. So according to the North Carolina Division of Air Quality, which has a pollen sampler in Raleigh, Sunday registered more than 16,000 grains of specifically tree pollen. That's the highest number since DAQ has been keeping records since back in 1999. However, it is important to note that this particular count is estimated not exact, so the actual number could vary. But 16,000 grains still seems like a lot, and it is. So according to these same reports, only three other times we've had tree pollen grains totaling more than 10,000, and all of those were in April of 2010, 2015, and 2019. By the, by the way, other high reports came in of more than 9,000 back in March of 2020 and 2007. So these are some of the highest numbers, but as we continue to look through more of the past data, it's not uncommon to have at least one or two tree pollen readings during the spring, totaling anywhere from four to 7,000 grains. So yes, there was a lot of pollen a few days ago, but if we look at these trends, usually once we hit that peak, it's only a few more weeks before the spring tree pollen starts to calm down. Another important note, there was no pollen report for Tuesday due to a collection error, meaning our next pollen update will come on Wednesday. Well, of course, keep you updated. I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.